Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day number 40 of our trek and today we are going to learn how to land on your feet when you step off the cliff. Today we are recording in our podcast studios in Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Paula and I are settled back into our routines for being in North Carolina and focused on our client work that keeps us busy each day. Preparing for this daily journal and podcast continues to go well, but it does require a significant amount of time each day. It is our goal to get a couple of weeks of episodes prepared in advance, if possible, but it may take a little while to reach that goal. Today we're going to consider the topic of stepping off or maybe even slipping off the cliff. We need to consider how we're going to handle this in advance. Taking risk and the changes it brings can be intimidating, even scary for some. Life is about having the faith to move forward, even when the path ahead is not clear or solid. To grow in wisdom, we need to gain the confidence to continue as we take one more step, even when the trail before us is shrouded with fog and we cannot see our way. During those times, it is easy to lose our footing and not know how to recover. So let's break camp today and continue on our trail of life. As we start, visualize today as we're hiking up a long, winding trail on a beautiful mountainside. The flowers are wafting in the summer scent and the warm air. The hummingbirds are darting to and fro, seemingly effortless in flight. Now the path is not smooth, but the rocks do not hinder our progress. Occasionally a tree limb or a root causes us a short detour, but we navigate around these minor obstructions and get back onto the path, winding its way to the peak. As you round a sharp corner in front of you, the trail suddenly narrows. As you place one sure foot in front of the other, there is a drop-off that appears before you. There is a sheer rock below you for hundreds of feet. It startles you as a few loose pebbles find its way down the apparently bottomless band before you. Then one of your feet slips and you start to tumble. This is a scary situation, isn't it? It makes my heart pound just to ponder it. And life's trek can be similar to this. Most days we can easily navigate around the small detours and it's easy enough to get back on the path. But some seasons, though, as we traverse the trail before us on this trek we call life, dark shadows falls across our ways. Some days we face torrential rainstorms that prevent any evident progress. Yet we must press on and on, even upward. But what about the cliffs of life? What happens when we lose our footing and we step off the cliff? Now, stepping off a cliff is analogous to any major change in life. How is the best way to deal with those changes so that we land on our feet and can walk away with little collateral damage? Well, first, the number one step is to accept this change. The most surefire way to make a big change more difficult for yourself is to fight it. Although having a hard time letting go is a natural reaction, a desire to live in the past will only cause us more pain to prolong the adjustment period. Instead of dwelling on what you're leaving behind on the solid path, such as a home or a job, close family members, or security, focus on getting through this change right now and creating a more positive future. In order for you to do this successfully, you must first accept the reality that life will no longer be the same. The only constant in life is change, and in order to succeed, you must embrace this fact. Number two, find a time for reflection. Whether it's journaling, meditation, prayer, Bible study, taking long walks on your own, or talking with a trusted friend, periods of change are when it's most important to stop and assess how you're feeling about everything. Self-reflection can help you identify the main sources of your challenge and worry and to see the other sides of the situation. Taking time for reflection will also help you to act mindfully and with intention as you take the next steps. Even Christ got away from the crowds and spent time reflecting. As mentioned in Luke 5.16, Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. Number three, take it one day at a time. When you start feeling overwhelmed about all the changes that are taking place, Remember to take things one step and one day at a time. Set small, attainable goals for the future. And try not to get wrapped up in the speculations or anxieties about where your future is headed. Learn to live in the now, not the nostalgia of the past or the worry of the future will make the challenges that seem more manageable. If it helps, create a timeline and write down your goals and plans, both long-term and short-term. None of us knows what tomorrow holds, so focus mostly on today. As Abraham Lincoln told us, The best thing about the future is that it comes only one day at a time. Number four, find a mentor. Talking with an older friend or relative who has successfully stepped off the cliff and lived to tell about it can make a huge difference in helping you to feel equipped to handle this change. Take time to meet for coffee or lunch or even long distance remote time to hear their stories and ask their advice on conquering your own big change. The wisdom that can be found in others is worth any price. 
Proverbs one twenty three tells us, Come and listen to my counsel. I will share my heart with you and make you wise. And then number five, learn to be an optimist. Overcoming negative thought patterns or cultivating a positive outlook will shift your mindset so that you can learn to see the opportunities for growth where previously there were only roadblocks. The sun is always shining above the clouds of life. Every big change has something beneficial to bring to your life. My virtual mentor Zig Ziglar says it this way, Before you change your thinking, you have to change what goes into your mind. So fill your mind with what is good. As you slip and stumble, and you will, as a Christ follower, I believe that we will persevere through God's strength to the point where we are on solid ground with a new song in our hearts, as reflected in Psalms 40, verse 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what He has done and will be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. So let's move forward on our trek, realizing that when you do step off the cliff, you will be able to land on your feet. No change will be so large that we cannot handle it. As your guide, your friend, mentor, and fellow sojourner, let me know how I can help you when you find yourself stepping off the cliff and you're scared to move forward. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. If you missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. And tomorrow we will look at three different trails on becoming a mentor to others. So please join us in our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And if you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, these nuggets that we review each day, I encourage you to help us in the following four ways. Leave us feedback on our podcast at wisdom-track.com. That would help us to know how we're doing and how we can improve. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to iTunes or Stitcher so that Wisdom Track will be downloaded to you automatically each day. Number three, if you previously left us a rating on iTunes or Stitcher, I really appreciate it and thank you for that. But if not, please leave us a rating so we can gain more exposure and reach more people with Wisdom Trek. And number four, spread the word to everyone you know to join us on Wisdom Trek. I thank you for this privilege to serve you in this way. The journal from this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey of life, and to create a great day. See you tomorrow.